YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Today is Saturday. It's early morning, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video and talk about something. I don't know yet. But, uh, well, we're going to start. I went on and took down the videos, the uh, club videos and all of that, because it's a trucking channel. And I usually do that. I usually take down the videos after they up for a certain amount of time. So, those are all down. So, for the older people that don't like that type of content, there you go, okay? Now, uh, I'm blocked from live on, on I'm blocked from uh, YouTube live until July 2017, uh, mainly because it was 300 and some people that uh, was flagging my live video when I was in VLive. A lot of haters out there, 300 of y'all, that's a lot of people. But, um, it's just a warning that YouTube gives us. Uh, not now, it it affects me, but not really because I don't go live like that. I'm I'm not a live person. You know, I go live when some action is happening, and I still got Facebook Live. So if some action happens in the future, uh, that's what I was originally using anyway. I just happen to go on YouTube because it's more y'all. So I figured, why not invite YouTube in, right? But after the video cut off, we, we, we switched over to Facebook, and we, man, we had more people on the Facebook group than we did the YouTube group. If y'all saw uh, right before my uh, phone overheated, it was almost 400 people in there live watching. It was just growing. People were sharing. It was crazy in there, but my phone overheated, y'all. It, it, it couldn't take it, man. It kept on telling me, man, uh, high temp. You know how you get the high temperature notice, and it just ended up cutting off. But luckily, I got to part with my girlfriend right before it cut off, right? But, um, what did I get banned for on YouTube? This is what happened. People flagging the videos, that ain't, that's not why YouTube cuts it. When y'all flag the videos, it caused YouTube to come in and watch. And that's what they did. They came in to watch, and there was a girl that went up there. And keep in mind, this event was on TV, so, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the, um... The replay on TV, so I gotta go and figure out how to how to find that. But um, I don't know how they do it on live TV when 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 uh, if y'all got to see it before it cut off, the girl went up there and uh, she was dancing and uh, the, the titties popped out. They they just they they popped out. They caught everybody by surprise. I don't know what the TV people do when something like that happen. I don't think they can censor something that fast. But as soon as it happened to me. YouTube cut my shit all the way off. I mean, they cut me off so fast. I looked at the phone. I was like, damn, man, what? Because it, it's like it was still going, but it's like the comments just stopped. And I was like, man, what, what the hell is going on? I, I couldn't figure it out. It took me like 20 minutes to figure it out. I did. I kept on I kept on hitting the go live button. It wouldn't let me go live, but it wasn't telling me why. It's, I thought it was froze or some shit. So I said, man, let me go on uh, YouTube.com manually. And uh, let me see what's up. Let me see if, if the video is still live or something. I go on there, and what do you think I see? This motherfucking lawn taking up the page. The goddamn warning notice. <laughs> so uh, they just said, you know, uh, can't do no live video until July. Once July comes, the strike will go away, or the warning, the warning will go away, and uh, everything will be good. But it's, it, it only affects live, and that's it. That's all it affects until July. Which is no problem for me, because like I said, I don't, I don't go live that much. Um, so that's what happened. But, um, it was free to get in, y'all. I know y'all probably think I went there throwing all this motherfucking money, because I know how, how truck drivers think. It was free to get in for everybody. Free food, free drinks, free everything. You just had to fucking show up. <laughs> you didn't need no ticket. There wasn't no line to get in. You just came and got in, so... Um, it was free. Fun night for free. That's the way I saw it. Now, was that the actual club? No, I, I don't think it was. From what I understand, V-Live is downtown. Um, but the, the, the building we was using was City Hall. So, obviously, City Hall was not V-Live. And it was a nice building, though. It, they had it set up as if it was a club. But it wasn't a club. It was just City Hall. Right there in, um, we was in Cordova, Tennessee, so I don't know what, what they what they use that city hall for, but 
It was a nice building on the inside, though. I ain't gonna lie. But, um, other than that, y'all are about to go to war, right? <laughs> y'all is the key word, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> Do y'all got guns? Do you have guns? You might want to get you some guns. I know a lot of truck drivers out there don't like guns. I don't know what the hell is wrong with people. I know y'all grew up and, 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 and they teach y'all that guns are bad and, and all of this. I keep my guns on me, okay? But now y'all finna go to war. You might want to reconsider. You might want to, I don't know, go in church, talk to your pastor, talk to him about telling y'all to goddamn get some some guns with some actual bullets in them, okay? Now, what you want to start out with in the war, I recommend starting out with my favorite gun, AK-47. If y'all ain't seen mine, just go through the YouTube playlist. Somewhere in there, y'all see the, uh, the AK-47. Or you could be like my friend. Y'all remember my friend, the one working Kroger's? Y'all seen his trunk now. I know y'all thought, y'all probably think, you know what I'm saying? People hang around me or south, but when he popped the trunk, do y'all see all the firepower he got? He don't even got no handguns in that motherfucker. He, he drives around every motherfucking day. With a with a shotgun and uh what is that a M fourteen he got back there or some type of uh assault rifle that's how he drive every motherfucking day every day the shit just in the trunk just soon as some shit happen he ready to kill <laughs> that's how a lot of us are though but I'm just saying you might want to go to the gun range and I think for like fifty or seventy five dollars you can get your gun permit on the weekend they got classes now that's how it is in Nashville I don't know how it is everywhere else but. Go out there, get your gun permit. Don't buy no guns with it, okay? I mean, my fault. Don't buy no handguns. Get you something that can be used in war. I recommend some type of assault rifle. I uh, saw Dean Cole. I think he just said he just bought two uh, AR-15s. I don't really like the AR-15. I need something that when I start shooting, you know what I'm saying, people are hitting the ground. <laughs> the AR-15 is not really a uh, uh, full auto. So I like full auto guns, you know. That's what I go with, but... You, now, you can get you some handguns if you are in, like, my position and, and people uh, really hate you and want to kill you and, and take your money, take your girl type shit. Then you can get you some handguns for that type of situation. But um, I don't know. I, I, like the, I like the military weapons, the drum round clips. You know, I think those are illegal, though. You can't have the drum rounds from what I understand. Maybe you can now. I don't know. Trump's supposed to be changing... The gun rules for all 48 states, but we got to put that on pause because North Korea is out there. was just celebrating somebody's birthday. I know it's a lot of people that hate Trump, but a lot of people don't understand that North Korea ain't got no missile that can hit the United States. So they ain't really a threat, even though they're a threat. Not really, because when you can't even reach us, there's no threat. <laughs> um, plus, the Navy is uh, heading towards North Korea. Y'all may want to pay attention. I said the Navy is uh, our Navy it's heading towards North North Korea. So uh, if North, if North Korea decides to attack, that's about the only thing they can attack is the people out in the water, because uh, that's about the only probably as far as they can reach, you know. And then you gotta think when you watch North Korea on TV. And you see all they taints, all the missiles they got, because they show you right in front of you. They have no idea what we got. We know everything they got. We know how to how to defeat them. Uh, they got this bomb right here. Okay, how far does it go? They can't reach us. That's what they do. They show off everything. And when you show off everything, the United States can figure out, okay, uh, how are we going to defeat this particular situation? They don't know what we got. We ain't out here... Celebrating, goddamn it! Got no tanks going down our road. No, no, no missile party. We ain't got none of that. Okay. Are we gonna attack North Korea? I don't even know. I don't even know why. I don't. I mean, if we do attack them, we're gonna make them a pancake. Is the way I see it. You know. But anyways, do I still like Trump? Y'all know I was a Trump supporter. I didn't vote for Trump. I don't. I don't vote. I was out. I was out there on the road, but. Uh, am I am I still supporting Trump? Of course I'm still supporting Trump. Fool, the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> blow all that shit up if you ask me. Should have blew the shit up back in Obama days instead of sending everybody over to Afghanistan. Should have bombed. We should have made that shit a pancake a long time ago if you ask me. <laughs> the hell we over there fighting on the ground for? 
and we had this damn bomb laying around collecting dust this whole time. That shit should have been at least a long time ago. God damn, people. Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyways, so get y'all some guns. Now, what happened with the load? Remember, we had a load going to Kentucky. I'm going to tell you what happened. The soon tie guys, the corporate guys, are usually the most unhonest people you will ever meet in your life, okay? It just is what it is. They just are. They talk real proper. They uh they use big words. They sound like fucking if they tell you something it it, it almost sounds as if they say it's so good that you just can't figure out that it's a lie, okay? Like I told y'all about uh Thursday Told you the soon tie guys, they really needed my truck, and if it wasn't for Easter, they could they could let me off. But they just really needed me, because they had all these people that called out or, or took off. This is what happened. V-Live was supposed to be from 8 to 11. When, when, when I got there, we was running late, of course, because I didn't even get to Memphis. Uh, because of what happened on I-40, I was delayed a couple of hours. I didn't get to Memphis till like 8 o'clock at night. When I went live, the first live I did, that's that was me. Remember, I was putting my clothes on in the truck. That's when I got to Memphis. It was already like 8 or 9 o'clock. We ended up getting the V-Live at like 10.30. And I'm thinking on my way there, I'm like, hey, look, um, you know, our dishes may be already over. But, um... Uh, we just gonna go anyway just to see what's happening. But I forgot that black people are running this event. And when you got black people running an event, it ain't starting on time, okay? We got there at 1030. I'm thinking, okay, they finna be wrapping up. Everybody finna be going out the door. Tell me when we, walk, when we walked in now, the shit ain't even started yet. It's supposed to be from 8 o'clock to 11. We got there at 1030. It ain't even started yet. I'm like... Because when I walked in, I'm like, man, why ain't nobody, uh, where all the dancers, what, what the hell is going on, everybody chilling, sitting around, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> it ain't started is what the fuck is going on, but, uh, by, by the time, uh, about 11.20 came, TMZ finally got there, and then it started, okay, so we was on TV too, it started, and, uh, man, we was there till probably like 2 o'clock, when 2 o'clock hit, I, man, I was looking at the time, and I was like, man, I got I got go, I got be in Nashville to pick up that load at four, and I'm like, Nashville is like three hours, three four hours away, and it's already two o'clock, so I'm gonna be late for that load. I was like, hey, look, okay, girl, uh, go ahead, go up there, and and just go on, skip everybody, just go and get up there, so we can go ahead and go. So she went up there, and I did shit her and her friend, and uh, then we took off. We got back to the truck like 2.30, took off from Nashville. And uh, when I took off, I went on and called dispatch. I said, hey, look, I'm going to be running like an hour late. They were like, cool, no problem. It's only going to one store. We just tell the store you're running late, no problem. Cool. Tell me why when we got back to, uh, well, they called me. They called me at like 5 o'clock because I told them I'd be late an hour. They was like, hey, how far are you? I said 45 minutes away. They're like, all right, all right, all right cool. Then tell me why when we got back to the yard, I go inside and, uh, hey, yo, uh, where's the load at? What load? I said, uh, I had a four o'clock load. The paperwork ain't in the, ain't in the bin over here for the load. What a load at? He said, you mean the load that was supposed to be gone a couple of hours ago at four? I said, yeah, that load, where's it at? I, I told you I was running late with with a load at. He said, oh yeah, we, we, somebody took that load, um, back around four o'clock. What, what are you talking about? Somebody took the load, y'all. Who took the load? Y'all was busy as hell. Hey, who the fuck took the load? Y'all ain't got nobody to take the load. Where's the paperwork at? Now, keep in mind, when I call dispatch at night, it doesn't go to our terminal. It goes to, I don't know who it goes to, like, corporate, I guess. I don't know who it goes to. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I know all the dispatches there. We only got like three of them. So you know their voice. You know who you're talking to. You know their names. More of the story is, remember I told y'all that they got workers that sit in the parking lot, get paid about an hour. 
just in case something like this happens. Yeah, they took it. They they took it. Yeah. I was lied to. Just absolutely lied to. I could have taken off work. You know why? Because they got people that can cover the load. I'm sitting over here under the impression they had all these motherfuckers taken off. They just, if I don't show up, they ain't got absolutely nobody that can take the load. It's all, it was all a lie. Everything the motherfucker said was a lie. Just for no reason. Just lying for no lying through his teeth for no reason. Suit and tie. I'm going to talk to him on Monday. I'm going to talk to him on Monday. Because it, it shouldn't be no reason that I was lied to like that. Violated the contract. Told me all these motherfucking lies for no reason. And the thing about it is... I get, you know, well, first of all, he gave me another load. He said, hey, look, we got a load going 65 miles. We took that load. So if y'all follow me on Facebook, I ain't put that video up, but I, I, I put that video up in the vlog or some shit. But uh, we end up, me and my girlfriend ended up taking a load like 65 miles, which was cool to me. I was fine with just not taking a load at all because the way I seen it was uh, we in Nashville. <laughs> we finna go, goddamn it, have fun around the city. It was like 5 in the morning. You know, we didn't have to be back in Memphis until, like, uh, what, 9 o'clock at night? So, less gas used on me. But it was a principle that I thought I was going to Kentucky. I thought they didn't have nobody to take this load because it's, it's just all horse shit lying through his teeth. No fucking reason. Just no fucking reason. I know it was people talking about, hey, man, you got to be... You got to understand that they got customers. And, no, it's all horse shit. Just all horse shit. For no reason. Yeah, they got customers, but understand that they got more trucks than probably loads, okay? Is what I'm assuming. If they, if you can have people to sit out in your parking lot, because them people that sit in the parking lot every day, they don't get a load. The people that sitting in the parking lot, this is, this is how it works, okay? They sitting in the parking lot getting paid hourly, right? And what they do is, it's kind of good, but it's not good. It's good if, if people actually don't come to work. This is what happens. You get paid hourly, right? And uh, if somebody don't come, let's say like me, I had a... They can, nah, I wasn't going to Kentucky. My fault. I was going... Yeah, I was going to Kentucky. It was like 277 miles, okay? They get the hourly play, plus they get the miles for that particular run, because they get paid mileage. So it's good if people, you know what I'm saying, if people don't show up. Because, thank you, sit in the parking lot, you could be in a, in a truck sleep. And uh, if somebody don't show up to work, you take it a load. So you getting half a much cent per mile that load is paying plus the hours. It's good. Plus, you, you, you won't sleep a birth anyway. So it's good for them. But my question is, why, why, why does it have to lie to me? Why does it have to violate the contract? Where's my damn W two form? Is what I'm thinking. <laughs> ain't till they tax day. Yeah, somebody got to pay some taxes for this line. We we going this line ain't gonna be told again. Cause when I say I'm off work, I'm about to do them evil. That's why I'm about to do to them. I know some people right now, some truck jobs working in my company. They just shaking their damn head at me. Look, I, I'm no corporate slave. I understand. I know how y'all think. It's not me, okay? Just a regular truck driver, and uh, I do this for fun. It's the truck driving is for fun. Because if this job wasn't fun, just like Fed it's my ass would be out the door, okay? Ain't nothing for me to, goddamn it, give me some brake cleaner fluid and take them decals off. Let me give them some drink. But we end up taking a load, 65 miles. And then we enjoyed Nashville. She went, uh, we went over to my mama's house, so she got to meet my mom again. That was cool. I just put up a, a, a picture of that. Her and my mom together on Facebook, if y'all follow me. People keep asking me, what's my Facebook link? Uh, if you go to some of my older videos, like a couple of weeks, or just like a week ago, look in the description box. Usually when I upload a vlog or something, my Facebook is in the description box, okay? My nose is stuffed up, but... Facebook.com slash Chasing Andrew Jackson. Okay, if that don't work... Just go up in the search box and type in Chasing Andrew Jackson. There's a space between each word, okay? And uh, my real name is Justin Fraser, so 
maybe you'll see it like uh, Justin Frazier, then Chase and Andrew Jackson. You'll see it all together, okay? So, uh, other than that, my weekend is, is fun, and uh, the fun for me continues, you know. I just want to know why I was lied to. Hmm. I could have just stayed at the goddamn V-Live event. It was damn near 50 more girls to go. I could have let that phone, that phone, that phone wasn't going to take nothing but like 10 minutes to, to cool down. I turned it off and we could have been back up alive again, you know. It makes no sense, okay? It makes no sense, but I ain't going to hold y'all up. How long is this video? 20 minutes? Yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. I'll catch y'all later.